Hey everyone, welcome back to my another video. So if you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Rishikesh. Uh, I'm a master student in Germany and I also make YouTube videos about studying or living and life in Germany. So do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you would not miss the amazing videos that I'm going to upload for you guys. Few days back, I traveled to Germany from India and I was traveling from Mumbai to Munich by Air France. It was not a direct flight, I had a transit in Paris. So this video is for all first time international travelers and that too in Germany. May that be students or working professionals or you are traveling for any other reason but traveling for first time. Then in this video, I am going to show you with my journey that how do you find your flight? How do you navigate yourself at airport? And if yours is also a connecting flight, then how do you switch your flight? Then um, how do you, what is check-in or what is security check or what is immigration? And even after you reach Germany, how do you use public transport to reach your destination? So all these things I'm going to show you with my journey. And if you're also traveling for first time, then make sure you watch this video till the end. All right then, let's begin our journey. When you arrived at the airport, and you want to get the details of your flight. Either you can ask at inquiry counter or you will find such screens everywhere. Look for your flight number and you get the needed info. In my case, I found my flight to Paris and the check-in is going on at G counter. So now I'll look for G counter and there it is. So now let's go and check in our luggage. Right now I'm at the Air France check-in line. So uh, behind me you can see uh, I'm standing in the queue. And uh, speaking of check-in baggage, I would, I would like to mention one thing here. I had made a mistake while booking the tickets. So if you are a student, then I don't want you to make the same mistake again. Uh, the thing is, if you are a student, then you are allowed. Uh, the airline will allow you. Either they will give you a student discount uh, in the fare itself, or they will allow you to have an extra baggage with you. Uh, since you are a student uh, and you, you just have to show your student ID card. So while booking the ticket I forgot to mention that and uh, the thing now is I cannot carry extra baggage with me and if I have to carry then I, I have to pay uh, extra fees for that. So the thing you have to make sure with the check-in baggage is that uh, with your airline you just have to read, read the proper documents and see that uh, the check-in baggage with proper weight. So for me each bag is of 23 kg. So you don't have to, you shouldn't be exceeding that and you will find this information on your, uh, in, the, in the ticket. So whichever is your airline, uh, you will find those details uh, in the ticket. So yeah, that's it. So right now I will check in my baggage and I will also get the boarding pass there. So now my check-in is done and I am heading towards my flight gate. So I got this boarding pass here. So on this boarding pass, uh, the gate number will be mentioned. So you just have to look for the gate now. So for me, uh, the gate number is 68A and I'll show you how to find that. So uh, on the every way here, uh, you'll find uh, code signs. So you just have to follow them and you just have to follow the gate. So reach. So hey guys, I have arrived, arrived at Paris airport now, uh, as you can also see uh, behind me it's written that Paris, it's there, Paris airport. So as I told you before that my mine is a connecting flight and I have to hold another flight from Paris. Uh, so if yours is also a connecting flight then I am going to tell you in a detailed way uh, what steps you have to follow, what you have to do. So um, <clears throat> for me I have to do three important tasks now. First is I have to go via immigration check because I have arrived in EU. And after that, I also have to go through the security check. On Mumbai airport, I could not show you uh, what security check is and how, how that is done because I was not allowed to shoot and nowhere it is allowed to shoot. Uh, but the thing was, there was a long queue and I have to wait in a long queue. The, I, uh, even though I arrived, I, I had arrived at four, four hours before, before my departure, uh, I could not make it in time. I just reached my flight just 20 minutes before, uh, before the departure. So uh, even after the security check, I had to go via uh, immigration check at Mumbai airport and that also took a lot of time. 
so I'm going to show you here uh, what the security check is and what uh, how the immigration is done. And after that, the most important task is to find my flight. So in the beginning, I told you right that I have got these uh, boarding passes. So uh, I, have, I have also got these uh, boarding passes for my connecting flight as well. So in that it is mentioned which is my flight flight number. So what I have to do is I have to go through a, to, to a screen. I have to find my flight number. The time will also be written there. And in, just in, fr in front of that, uh, the gate number will also be written. And you just have to follow the directions and find your gate. So right now I'm going to show you uh, how I have found, found my gate and how I have found my flight. Yeah. So such so screens will, will be there on, uh, on the airport. So you just have to uh, find your flight number and in front of that the gate will also be written. So for my flight of uh, flight to Munich, uh, the gate number is F49 and the terminal is 2F. So right now what I have to do is just find out the 2F terminal and in the, after that I'll find the gate, gate as well. So as you can see I just have to follow the directions for 2 years. One thing uh, I would like to mention here, sometimes even though the gate number will be mentioned on your boarding pass, the gate number might also change. When you arrive at the airport, uh, do check the screens and uh, <coughs> if it is a change then you might be, you might get aware of it. I was done with the security check and uh, I could not show you how the security check was uh, at Mumbai airport as the line was so huge and uh, and uh, I was not even allowed to shoot there so right behind me you can see that how the security check is going on I cannot directly shoot it and now at the uh, security check what we have to do is you will get a container you will get a box you have to empty your, all your pockets in there uh, you have to remove your, remove your laptop, charger, all your electronic uh, equipments, power bank, everything you have to remove, keep it in the box and uh, let it go through the uh, checking machine. And you also have to uh, go via security check, uh, uh, <coughs> which will be done by a security guard. So after that, that is done and now I'm going to the immigration counter. So where I'll be stamped on my passport um, that I have arrived. Uh, in, in Europe and I have to show certain documents to there. Uh, the documents will be my residence permits. But if you are arriving for the first time on your on your passport itself, uh, there will be this visa on your passport itself. So you have to, uh, it, it could be shown directly. You don't have to show any other document. But for me, uh, I have a residence permit. So I'll be showing that. And that's it. That's how the immigration will be done. Here we go, we find our flight and that's our boarding gate, here I will be boarding my flight. I just landed at Munich International Airport and um, now as soon as I got out of the airport I was asked a few questions that uh, I was asked I was asked to show my uh, COVID um, I mean vaccination certificate and after that I was asked uh, how long I have been staying here and how long I, I, I will be staying here in Germany and, and where I am where I have to go so after that I have just I just have to collect my bags and uh, if you can see there is a sign behind me uh, baggage collections so as soon as I uh, got out of, got out of my uh, aircraft I mean airplane uh, it will be announced that at, at what uh, gate or at what counter uh, you, you can collect, collect your bags. So you just have to follow those directions and right now I'm going to get my bags. And everything is done, we got our baggage and 
we got exit from airport also but our journey doesn't end here because uh, although you arrive at these stations or these airports you might have to go somewhere else your destination might be different in that case you might have to catch a different train or anything bus whatever it is so i'm going to show you how are you going to do that how, how will you find the bus or train for me also for going to ravensburg i have to catch a train and right now i'm heading towards a uh, train station uh, here at munich airport it is just below um, the airport uh, you'll find the way i'm going to show you how, how to go find that and, uh, from there there onwards uh, for, after going to munich hauptbahnhof that is uh, main station i'm going to show you how will you find your train uh, so let's go so at the airport itself you will find such signs um, whether you have, you have to go by train bus or uh, here in germany there is this train network called deutsche bahn uh, it is also in a short form a short form is a, it's db so <clears throat> if you have not bought the tickets uh, you can buy it here just follow the directions uh, but you can also do it by app these are the automatic um, ticket machines you can you can take the tickets from here as well and i'll i'll show you how to get the tickets via app so you can also book the tickets app via app as well and at the, uh, there you can get the details about at what platform you are going to get your train and all um, what you what you can say is um, if there is any uh, change in the, uh, the duration or change in the schedule you can also get updated by that so you have to uh, keep the app it's very handy and it's very useful right now i'm at munich train station uh, this is the main main station uh, of munich so if you are at any train station in germany and uh, you want to travel somewhere then you must be having a ticket in your hand or you must have bought a ticket then um, on your ticket there will be train number written either it will be IRE or RB or ICE any these are the train uh, names in, in Germany so, uh, train numbers will start from that so what you have to do is just find a board or uh, I mean a screen where the schedule will be mentioned and you just have to see at what time is your train and at which platform so i'll zoom in and zoom in a little bit so if you can see there is this gleis written over there so gleis means platform in german and at what what platform uh, you will find and then same as india you just have to find the platform and find the train uh, the thing is as i mentioned before that you have to have a DB app installed in your mobile which will be quite helpful for you because it will continuously update if there is a change in train timings or if it is if the train is delayed or anything uh, that has happened so it will be very useful for you and that's how you will travel to germany and you will reach your destination in germany so i reached my destination and that was all in today's video so let me know in the comments how did you find the video and i hope when you, you will also travel to germany your journey will also be safe and without any problems so that's all for today and i'll see you again